Now YouTubers, today, or should I say over the next few days, what we're going to do is, I'm going to do like a, a video series on this Astra behind me. There's a good few bits to be done. Uh, head gaskets, timing belt service, and then a few bits like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick video first to show you uh, the signs of a head gasket, how to know when a head gasket's gone, and basically what to look for. It's more or less the same on, on every car. Uh, some cars have different symptoms, but you can look out for the same type of things and it should give you a good indication whether it's gone or not. There is a, there is a little gadget, this sniffer test gadget here. That liquid is blue and when it turns green, it means the head gas is gone. So I'll show you that as well. But obviously, not many people have these because they're quite expensive, but you don't really need this. This is really good for if, if the signs aren't obvious. So anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna show you how to uh, check the signs of hair gaskets gone. Get crap. Now this one happens to be a 97 Opel Astra, uh, 1.4, eight valve. You can get a 16 valve, um, but anyway. Obviously one of the first signs to look for is if you're losing water. Now sometimes you can even check the water. Now obviously if, if you're losing water, that's a sign as well, but you can actually check. Sometimes there could be oil in the water. Now this one, the water looks okay. It just depends on how the head gasket's gone. So that's one sign to look for. The most common one, which we're gonna show you on this one. Right, on this one, this one's fairly obvious. Now, you can see that, that's what we basically call, see all that white crappy stuff? See it all there, and it's all down inside here as well. We call that mayonnaise, the mayonnaise effect. So that will give you, you'll definitely know then when the head gasket's gone. Now that means that the water is going into the oil. Um, so that obviously you'll definitely know. What I'm gonna show you now is, I'm gonna show you how to use this little machine here. I'm gonna show you how to use this now. The other thing is when you start it, Now hopefully that's coming through on camera. That's running very rough. There's no... You can hear that missing and shaking. Hopefully it's coming through. So if it's missing and shaking and you've got no power, that's obviously another indication of um, the head gasket gone. A couple more to go through. Now as you can see, this is another one I was telling you about. You can see the white smoke coming out of your exhaust and you can even see the water on the ground. Now that's basically water and the engine and the exhaust is, is just turning it to steam. Uh, so that's another sign to look for in your head gasket. Now, the last one I'm going to do, I'll just show you now, you actually see that engine, hope it's coming through camera, that engine's actually rattling, because you can, you, can, you can tell it's missing. But basically, that is a few, few tests to know uh, if your head gasket's gone. The next one I'm going to show you is how to use this sniffer test. There's a few more ways as well, but these are the most common ways, these are the ways you're really only going to have to start worrying about. This, this gadget is absolutely brilliant. Um, especially when you're not, because on some head gaskets you don't get a lot of signs, like it might not be um, smoking out the back, it could just be missing and this will tell you exactly if it's a head gasket or if you've got another problem. That liquid at the minute as you can see is blue and it will turn to green if you have a problem with the head gasket. So the car is now warmed up, hopefully enough. I have to be careful, this could spit back because of the pressure. So be careful. Yeah. That's another sign, pressure as well. Now you see that smoke coming out of there. So I'm gonna allow the smoke to come into the bottom. I've just I've snapped this in half, well I've snapped it in half, but just pulled it in half. And what I'm gonna do is just squeeze that smoke coming into there. Now hopefully, 
I can get this right, show you on here, you should literally see this turning green in front of your eyes. Now the bubbles are going. Green. And as you can see now the liquid is starting to change colour. Now you can see it. Now it's bang, gone. It's green now. Hopefully that's now. Hopefully you can see that, just how green that is. There we go. That is another way of testing it if you have one of these little gadgets. That is really green as you can see. And you can actually put that back to blue by sucking up fresh oxygen. And that will turn back to blue. Now a couple more pumps and that's going to be back to the same colour and you can use that a few more times now. After three times though, I tend just to throw it out just in case there's anything in it. So that's it. That's really all you need to know about obviously um, head gaskets. There's a few more little things but I mean if, you, if you've got one of them Simpsons and you, and you check like that, look, that's, it's as simple as that. What we've got left to do on this, like I said this is going to be a mini series so we're going to do, that's the first video, we're going to do one on replacing the head gasket. We're going to do one on replacing the timing belt kit and the water pump and another one on the service. So this is going to be over a few videos and uh, yeah, so look, hope it helps. Thumbs up the videos if you like it and uh, don't forget, get your hands dirty. See you for the next one.